the other side should be known and should be uh, should be publicised. Because I consider they were the genuine nationalists. They were the ones who were fighting for the country's true independence. It was not an easy thing for myself at the age of 52 to get involved in doing what the guerrillas were doing, forced marches and living on a meager rations. So I had to go through a training exercise to prove that I could march quickly, that my legs and muscles were still good, that I could carry a pack, that I could live on rice and very meager rations in order not to embarrass the people with whom I would be traveling. I was the only outsider who had ever visited and this was true also of the war against the French. No outside journalist ever visited the South. So I was a sort of uh, morale booster for them that somebody from the other side had come down to have a look and see what their struggle was all about and share some of their difficulties and hardships and dangers with them. I wore the black pajamas of the Viet Cong and the conical uh, straw hat in order to fit into the landscape <laughs> as completely as possible. <laughs> 